Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by bankruptcy attorney E. Orem Young. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Brian Briggs. Well, good Sunday evening to you. Hopefully you were able to have a wonderful day today. Lots to talk about in the weather department, so we're going to jump right into it, at least in the short term. Really not seeing too much here in the arc limits right now. Our live storm tracker Doppler radar showing really nothing going on. We do have that potential maybe for a stray shower or thunderstorm over the next couple hours or so, but really not going to be seeing much until we get to tomorrow. So we already do have uh, hurricane warnings and tropical storm warnings going up along uh, portions of the Louisiana coastline, Mississippi, Alabama, even parts of Florida too, and uh, out ahead of the these two monsters that we're seeing out in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we're seeing Marco up towards the north. It's just to our southeast and it's still watching Laura here as it continues to push westward along uh, portions of the Caribbean islands as of now. So we're going to dive right into Marco here. Still holding at hurricane strength even at this hour. But notice the convection here. Really not looking too great on our infrared satellite but uh, still there is an area of convection associated with this uh, hurricane here and it is still on track to make landfall somewhere near New Orleans as uh, we head into the Monday time frame here. Preferably around the later Monday evening time frame looks like the best chance, but essentially continues as a tropical system all the way through the Louisiana coastline, continuing eastward into Texas, where it eventually becomes a remnant low during this time frame. So it's looking more and more like Marco is really not going to have too much impact on the Arklamis's weather. However, South Louisiana and the coastline is still going to take a battering as this is expected to be a category hur one hurricane at landfall. So the one, though, that we still need to really keep an eye out on is Tropical Storm Laura and is still holding out a tropical storm strength even at this time. The area of circulation is what we've been keeping an eye out on. This will answer many questions that we have over the next couple days where this center ultimately ends up. Again, uh, the last day or so, it was looking like it was going to track over the islands and it was going to tear Laura apart, at least to some extent, kind of weaken the system as it got closer to us. But now it could be going south and eventually tracking it still into the Gulf of Mexico, where eventually it will lead into the Arklamis as it turns northward and eventually becoming a remnant low somewhere near the Great Lakes. Now. With this scenario in mind, keep in mind, it doesn't look like it could track necessarily over the Arklamis, even though the chance is still there. However, with the quadrant setting up with the moisture and the dynamics associated with Laura, could spell severe weather potential and flash flooding potential for the Arklamis beginning later Wednesday, continuing through Thursday, and maybe even lingering into early Friday. Those details still need to be ironed out, and we need to know where it is here before we can really make assumptions what it's going to be here. So, lots of questions still up in the air at this time. We're starting to get a clearer picture of what these systems are doing, but if Laura holds on track, could be a Category 2 storm as it makes landfall. Not shocking considering the sea surface temperatures that we have. Again, conditions are ripe for uh, plentiful tropical convection, uh, at least development here over the next week or so. We're not going to be really seeing this changing all too much, which is also problematic in terms of seeing these storms becoming more intense. So, again, our, our in-house model showing that we do have the conditions favorable, so so uh, still some questions that we need to answer, but what folks need to know here is to prepare for a severe weather-like event or even potentially a tropical system coming in. There's some hints that it could hold together as far north as the Arklamis, but those details still need to be ironed out. We'll continue to keep you updated. In the short term, though, we'll start to see the clouds of the moisture coming in from Marco, at least, starting about Monday, and this will spell some showers and thunderstorms as we get into the afternoon and evening time frame. Notice Future Tracker not showing a whole lot here during that time frame, but I think it's underdoing it a little bit. Better coverage as we get into Tuesday as Marco's moisture continues to filter in, and then eventually as we get later Tuesday into Wednesday, that's when we need to start keeping an eye on Laura. So we're going to try to take this day by day, at least where we're at now. That's probably the best thing to do as details are still very much subject to change, and uh, details will continue to change, but heavy rainfall, possible severe weather, all uh, looking like a possibility as we head into the next week. With showers and thunderstorms continue into the weekend. That's your forecast. Uh, more coming up after the break. You're watching NBC 10 News at 5.